Hello. We are into our next game and we're facing Necromantic. Uh... Yeah, let's have a look at him, eh? Alright, doesn't have any Mighty Blow Claw, so that may be a good thing. One of his walls also doesn't have block. His golems are nice. His whites are nice. Apart from the edgy two, could be a problem. Uh, block, block, tackle. Nice tackle there. Do we have any dodge? No, so that's good. Uh, very nice school here. We need to get the Chaos Dorse on him if we can. Yeah, how's he doing? I mean, it's a nice team. 11 2, 6. Okay, bit of everything. Cross our fingers that he doesn't dive too deep into his repository here, seeing as we're only 10k apart. I keep being the slightly up team rather than the slightly down team. <laughs> I think we've had one game where we were the slightly down team. Yep, straight in there. Spent all his money. <sighs> Bugs me. One of those things where it's like, we're 10k different, but he gets to add an extra 100k in there. And the only damage, the only the only downside to that for him is after the game, right? So, you know, there's no sort of negative trait for taking that in the game. I think you're not allowed to do that in the once you get to the chalice, if I'm right. You only have up to a certain amount spend over, but I'm not 100. But that might be the other way around. It might be that the player that's... No, I think that is how it is. Okay, let's offend... And see if we can actually pick up the ball here. This guy is obviously very nice. But he might also expose him and let us knock him over. And now he's got to decide if he wants to put hack on or not. So we will see. But uh, yeah, we got we got to do a bit more damage this game. He's only got two players that are better armor value. Well, hack might be as well, I'm not sure. No, he's actually seven. Okay. I imagine he might leave Hack on the bench for the second half. So if we were... Either he doesn't, in which case maybe we try and get a hit on him at some point. Or he does. And we, uh... You know, take out two or three players. And then if we score, we're in a, a solid spot because then he's gone, right? That's That's my theory. I uh, don't know where he's gone. Sorry about this uh, sort of slightly unexciting start to the game. But hopefully he'll be back in a moment. Because, look, like, on paper, I don't mind this matchup. The Wolves could go either way. They could die for him and not cool. Or they could uh, absolutely wreck us. So... But, without Mighty Blow... They're good, but not crazy, because we still have Thick Skull. <sighs> He's gone for the Mighty Blow before Guard set up as well, so we need to leverage our Guard on his front lines, because he's only got the one. Yeah, this is, uh, this is unfortunate, isn't it? He's gone for both of the <laughs> flesh golems having the unfortunate glasses. I'm not sure what the idea was with that, but there you go. Really weird looking. Okay, it looks like he's back. Only has two rerolls as well, so if we can make him eat some rerolls, even better. If we had one claw chaos dwarf, I'd be feeling like really good about the game. We do have a lot of mighty blow though, so that could still come into effect. And we probably foul if we get one of the wolves on the floor, we probably foul it.
What else can we look at here? Playing with the all black kit. Is it all black? Is this the all black kit or is this the... Maybe I'm just seeing that in the in the wrong light. Or is it like a dark blue one? Has it got one of these guys? No, I think it is the black kit. It's kind of it's getting a little bit cricket commentary here while we're talking about what the players look like rather than what we're doing on the field. But hey, it looks like we're about to start, so that's nice. So I think he's leaving Hack off, but I guess it's too early to say for 100% yet. This is a very interesting setup. Okay. I guess we just shouldn't comment too much on what he's doing until he's set up because... He might change the entire thing again. Okay, hex on. Is he going to leave this guy off? I guess he is. I'd be tempted to bring him on anyway. Just even, even on the line, although I guess it's a little risky because he's going to be taking a mighty blow hit to the face. Another team that we have to worry about, Frenzy. And, uh, let's see. I guess we'll just do the five across the front technique. And we'll pop this last Kels Dwarf just in the back to help out in case things go wrong back here. Yeah, and then we probably just blitz in with one of the Centaurs. Uh, maybe we move these guys out one, actually. Just to help with blitzes. Okay, we're probably both digging the bribe. Maybe him more than me actually because of hack, come to think of it. Ball is relatively safe right now. So I think it's hitting time. Okay, I don't mind starting with a stun. Nice, all down. And let's follow that. Squeeze out just a little bit, come and make this blitz. This is only his only guarder, so if we can push him back, that'd be nice. We pushed him back technically, but nothing more than that. Um, am I happy with that? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> You know what, I'll leave that guy there, in case the pickup goes wrong, it gives us a little extra width. Very nice, pop up here. Just move these guys forward a touch. And I think we're done, just keep it nice and tight. Try and pull him in so we can use our guard. I wonder what he's going to try and hit. I think he's going to try and hit the centaur. But can he get a two dice into two dice? I don't know that he can. Not without a lot of commitment. Okay, looks like he's okay with the commitment. Yeah, he's, he, he wants to hit him. He's trying to find out how to do it with two dice. 
Because obviously we're strength 4 and we have that hobgoblin hiding behind the back, so he has to think about what happens if I get pushes. But he'd be committing one, two... Probably three players to doing that. Is he just going to do a chainsaw blitz? Bit risky against high armor value. Okay, is he just going to settle for the two dice into one dice, maybe? Uh, hang on, that might be two dice into two dice. No, that'd be two dice into one. Yeah, he's just, he's just hoping he's going to knock us down on the first one. Okay, pushing us in rather than pushing us out. I think this is going to be a one dice snare. Oh, it's it's red dice. Okay, he got a bit lucky there. Yeah, I think he probably should have pushed... Oh, because, uh, no, hang on. Yeah, this guy's not providing an assist, so yeah, not the best blitz in the end, despite all the thinking about it. Is he going to bring everybody over here? And now he's got... I think he was pushing him that way so that he could foul him afterwards. Now he's just going to commit everybody over here, I guess? So we're just going to move the ball over here first, just in case any of what I have planned goes wrong. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it's kind of okay. Oh, this guy here. That's better. Because that lets us get our guard up on the Flesh Golem. Uh, pushing him doesn't matter, so I think I am going to come up here. Nice. He might just come out here. Two dice here. Just pushes is sad, if I'm being honest. Nice. Hoping for a little bit more there, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else have we got going here? Not a lot. Yeah, I don't like how this side is developing, but I mean, there's only so much we can do about it.
Oh, that's rubbish as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just bring this guy into here. Yeah, we didn't quite... So, if we had knocked this wolf over, I'd feel a lot better about this whole situation. But he does have a wolf block now. We do have some guard in here that he's got to clear, but that should be pretty easy. Just needs to get some guys up, move them around a touch. So he now has a one dice here. Got to hope that he regrets guard as a concept. Because if his golem had guard instead of mighty blow, obviously he's got a two dice here right now. Got bringing in the guard means he's got a two dice with this guy. That's... Okay, that's nice, but he still gets his other hits. Two dice with the wolf here. Oh, he's going with that guy. I guess he wants to two die. I guess he wants to wolf the uh, centaur. He he wants to hack him. Let's let's be honest. Oh, we've got the bribe as well. I should have fouled this guy. Totally forgot about that. Does he get what he's looking for from Hack? Yes and no. One dice to Centaur. Just a push. You can push him in one of these, yeah. And stay. I don't mind getting you up. I think getting a, a two dice on the white seems pretty solid. Nice. Not as solid as I was hoping, but certainly, you know, could be worse. I'd love to hit this guy, but I don't quite have the reach without a GFI. Can't reach that way. That's annoying. Uh, I guess we could do this. One, two, three. No. Okay, so we'll do this. Hmm. Need another guard over here. Okay, I guess we're just hitting this guy. I can't work out a way to make this better. Come in to here. Come in to here. Come into here. That's now one dice. Would love to drop a foul, don't really see a good one. Gotta play it a little safe. I guess we try this one first actually. Because then we can make this a two dice. He'll probably stay where he is, but that's fine. 
It's one less hit he's making next turn. Yeah, this is, this is awkward. White is out of position, which is good, because that's his guard. That's nice, because that's another... Well, he's probably just going to push him here. I don't think he wants that guard getting involved. Okay, he does. So now... Uh, uh, yeah, he could he could hit him again with this uh, flesh golem, and he does. Yeah, we haven't really got a lot of armor breaks yet, which uh, I guess neither has he until. Nope, not yet. Stand this guy up for a two dice for this guy, but he's still going to be in tackle with one of them unless he blitzes the other one. Double GFIs to get on the top there. Interesting. Okay. Alright, standing up the white, that gives him a two dice. Uh, no, it's one dice each way because of guard, that's right. So I think he's going to blitz the other one, maybe. Oh. Okay. Is he blitzing this guy? Yeah, he is. Okay, fair enough. Ooh, so close. That worked, eh? Now the one, I mean, he should have stood this guy up a million years ago. I assume that's what he'll do now. Yeah, he's realized that. What does that give him though? It gives him a one dice, a two dice against, a one dice, nothing great. Okay, he's just dodging away. Bail dodge would really help us reposition here. Nope. Okay, okay. Alright, that's still good. You just have to get up. Obviously we want this guy off of here. Who do we get to do that, do I, I wonder? Could get a two dice on this, which would let me... So I think that's the first thing we do. Nice. Okay, it's done. It's not bad. Knocked him down is excellent, because that frees up a uh, Chaos Dwarf. Got to make this blitz, ideally. Stay. Okay, that's big. Because that's kind of one of their retrieval guys as well, so... Anything there is pretty solid, right? Uh, I don't see a better place than here. 
This is not the safest of situations for the ball. But in a weird way, it's also not the worst situation for the ball, because it's very awkward for him to get to it. That's unfortunate. Nice. Honestly, I think we're probably about best where we are. It's a tense one again. Golems are being kind of a pest. Guard is locked away again, which is nice. It means there's not going to be a lot happening over here, and this guy obviously is really bad at dodging, so that's quite, quite handy. Okay, blitzing there gets him down. It means he can base the ball. Oh, he got the stun as well. Okay. Didn't follow, so he's happy where he is. wonder if this guy's just going to chainsaw block. Because what else is there? Goes for the one dice. He does have block, so fair enough. One dice is with these is a lot more scary. What's he do with this guy as well? Gonna base us. Unless he makes these blocks, we should be able to free up a Chaos Dwarf to go hit him. Nice, nice. He does have sidesteps, so we need to remember that. Okay, the push is even better, actually, because it pushes us right into the situation. has freed up this guy to go one, two, three, four, five. Could do that. Could just go foul this guy. There's options. Oh, that does put the extra assist on him to make that not two dice, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so first things first, I think we try and free up this Chaos Dwarf. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe we just... Get this guard over here on the side of the field. Change of plan. Okay, so I think we have to go for this. Even though he's going to sidestep onto the. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Uh, I think now we go for this. Nice. Because now we can just uh, chain this zombie at the back. B 
be nice to get more uh, work out of our Chaos Dwarfs here. So far they don't seem particularly eager to injure anybody, just to sort of knock them on the floor. I mean, that's fine. We're just going for that, because why not? Oh, he went with it. Nice. Uh, let's pop you here and follow. Keep our guard working everywhere. One, two... So he's got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or three... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so he can't really reach us without crazy. What have we got so far? We've not got a lot out of it. We've just got one werewolf. So really not a lot of attrition, unfortunately. But, I mean, we do have control, I suppose. But attrition-wise, not the best. I guess we do want to push forwards a little bit if we can, if the situation allows. We've not made progress for quite a long time. Could get the golem on the ball here, actually. That'd be quite nice. Like, he could just... Blitz, uh... This guy? Mm, actually, that's a one dice right now. He'd have to hit this guy down first, which I think is also a one dice, so not the best. Does get the knockdown on the Chaos Dwarf, unsurprisingly. No armor break is good. Actually, that might be a... T no, it is just a straight one dice. No assist, no assist the other way. Oh, that's unfortunate, because that ties this guy up now. Who I was going to use to blitz with. We do have these two guys coming back this turn, though. Okay, so if we stand this guy up, we do have... Push here, and we can actually push this guy here. Potentially. Which would be nice. And follow. Oh, sweet. I mean, it's a guy that's not on the field, right? Um, two dice there. I have an idea here. I don't know how good it is. So I'm going to one dice. Can I change that? I mean, not super easily. Okay, I could do it like that. We do have three re-rolls, so let's use them. Push 
ambush is technically sufficient. Oh, I guess we do this, actually. Oh, I was really hopeful that the mighty blow here would be really helpful there. So now we can switch sides. Can't get super safe though. That's probably about as good as it gets. It's being tricky. Yeah, not knocking the wolf down was uh, a problem. Not gonna lie. But we don't we don't want to be too far up because the ghoul. And we don't want to be too far down because we're touching somebody that we don't want to touch then. You know, obviously this guy has a horrible dodge air. It's like a... Probably like a 5 plus 4 plus. So that's an end of the turn thing if you're going to do it at all. Uh, he has made a way to dodge through here, actually, for one dice, which is quite nice. I think that's what's coming. He could try and dodge this guy off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For the assist with a three plus, two plus. Hang on, three plus, three plus, two plus. The second one has a reroll, though. Oh, okay. Not going with what I thought. I mean, it is. There's no reroll on this, so that's the good thing from our perspective. So that's a push into two dice against, maybe? Yeah. It's going to use the last reroll now. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. It's not amazing, but it still kind of blocks him up some. So it's all right. Oh, dodging off tackle as well. Changed his mind. Yeah, we've totally not hurt his team enough to keep Hack out, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, getting him down is huge. No two ways about it. Oh, the regen. Just for a second. I was excited. Uh, let's see. Still really good, though. Uh, let's see, what do we do next? I think what we do next is this. Ooh, that's highly disappointing. Okay, that could be a bit of a serious problem. It's going to be hard to get the ball safe now. Okay, there we go. That's that's handy for the second half. Oh, he regened. <laughs> Didn't realize that could regen as well. All right, fair enough. Um, I think we go up in the corner. 
before we do anything else... Then I think we've got to tag this guy and spend the reroll if we need to. Very nice. Oh, nice. Mighty Blow doing something. Ooh, the regen is really working a treat here. He'll be relieved to see. Okay, that's quite nice. It's not the bill and end all, especially without an armor break, but I mean, it's definitely quite nice. It limits his movement a little bit. Okay, another injury. Hey! Okay. How many have we had? I think we've injured one. I think he's past four regens, maybe? No, that's not to say that that means it's going well. Hey, Dweebo, how's it going? Um, we we lost our last game, so I think we're 8-3-4. So, okay, but not good. We had a game against Dark Elves where we just couldn't touch them. We didn't, we didn't injure one the entire game, so... I'm not saying that that's all there is to that game, but it was, you know, obviously that's problematic. When they're full of blodgers. I suppose I can't really complain being a, a Dark Elf player, but I, I I am. Okay, he's got no dodge and no reroll here. So we just cross our fingers that this, uh, this is a 1 and 2. It's not. Um, but yeah. Yeah, other than that, it's, uh, it's going alright. I haven't played in 4 or 5 days over the weekend. So, yeah, that's... So we haven't really progressed a lot. Uh, we'll skip that. It's not like he's coming back now anyway. Does he grab it? I mean, we've still got people in range. It's just, can we knock this guy over, really? Currently having fun with Underworld Denizens. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to play Underworld again. Obviously, they're a little bit crazy. I think with no reroll, standing next to it might be better, because you're facing a... If you fail the 2+, plus, you fall over on the ball, and suddenly you take away your... Potential, right? And it's not like we've got an edgy 5 that's running in there. But yeah, we've we finally started to injure his team, but they've they've all regened by one. So uh, this this team is coming back big time. Although if we don't score, oh no, hang on, he's only actually got one KO. Yeah, they're coming back. Yeah. Do we go for the double GFI takedown and then just run somebody in to try and get it? And if so, who? One, two, three, four. Probably this guy. One, two, three, six, seven. Yeah, he. This guy would need two, three, four. I mean, a lot's going to depend on where the boss guy is, right? Um, so I think we're doing this. Don't like it, but what what else is there to do? Uh, you know what else we should do? We should repair slightly. For it not working by getting these guys uh, to have a harder time hitting us, right? We should try and play sensibly. And I don't need to use this guy. Don't use that guy. The guard in here. This guy in here. And then this guy's hitting. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that was my little attempt to be sensible for when this doesn't work. Okay, we do get him down. He's probably going onto the ball. Because that's more chaotic. Oh, an injury would have been really helpful. Okay, the ball's gone in a good place. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter which way we go, does it? Are we better off doing this? Not majorly. We're going to roll all of these dice one way or another, so I may as well just hit it. Come on, you can do it. Ah, well. Picked up with the hobo? Yeah, maybe I should. I was worried about where the ball might scatter after this, and I was worried he might not be able to get a good angle. But you're probably right. He does have movement 7 after all. You know what? He has the same movement. I keep forgetting he's got plus movement. We'll ignore the fact that he would have picked up if he had gone for it. We'll just ignore that. Uh, I mean, on the plus side... <laughs> we've, we've killed one zombie. That's the only plus side going here, really. Maybe he'll hurt himself here. I think we can... I think we can probably... Um, yeah. Yeah, I think... I think with the... Okay, that's nice. It's probably all he gets, because we've got two guards in there. I don't think he has any more hits. So, good work us for setting up for that. I, I have a hard time remembering that those hobgoblins move as fast as the centaurs. I suppose what they don't have is sure feet, right? Okay, so mixed results on the KO returns. Maybe he'll fail his bribe? Nope. So hack is back after regenning. Uh but that's that's okay. I think I think we're in a okay-ish position. Uh, do we go tight? I guess we go tight. Let's just go to here. No, let's go, let's go wider. Oops. Uh, we don't have the shore hands one back, but honestly, that's not the end of the world. I'm not saying I'm happy about it, but... He still only has two re-rolls. Um, I feel like I probably should have done better there, honestly. The golems were a pain all half, which is what they're supposed to do. Yeah, I think, I think honestly, I probably could have... Probably could have uh, done a better job of getting into a scoring position earlier, so we didn't have to do that, but... It was tricky. He was tying us up a lot. And all those injuries uh, on the sideline that came back, that was uh, mostly in the last couple turns. So... Had, had they have come earlier, obviously, I think we'd have had a lot easier time of pushing forwards, but... I think we only had one out till then, so... If I'm going to try and make some excuses... That'd be that. But it'd be interesting to see if he tried... I guess he's not going to try and score quick because we didn't score. He can kind of take his time, but I think that also potentially plays into our hands. Just need to not get too aggressive with the balls. One, one attack, one defend. Maybe keep the Wrestle Hobgoblin not too far forwards as well. Unless we have to. Looks like he's gonna... No, he's not gonna pick up on the... Wolf, I don't think. 
Not with a show of hands. Okay, it's an aggressive setup that could be punished with a bad kick and a blitz, but we'll see. Oh, blitz would have been... I think this would be the perfect place for a blitz. That's a little deep. We, I mean, we could have really cut him off from it, though. <clears throat> this, this whole situation is interesting. Is he trying to push forwards, maybe? I mean, in that sense, where the kick has gone is good for us. Nice, nice. Oh, maybe he's just setting up over here to hit this guy with the, with the wolf. But he's going to have to commit a lot of assists again. In the first half, he kind of screwed himself up trying to hit the ball. Not as much as he could have done. He didn't roll a skull on it, but he did red dice it. So that could have really changed the uh, the way the game went. Okay. So that's that. What's next? He's not worried about the ball as much as he could be. I mean, it is out of range, I suppose, in fairness. But if anything did go wrong, we we have two or three guys going around the corner, the challenge, and we probably just base up everybody over here, and so that's trouble, right? As of right now, I think maybe blitzing this guy might be the way to go. Assuming he grabs the ball and just settles back here. We hit this guy and then push the centaur in. We got a mighty blow to hit that. So we got the perfect guy to do it. Is he doing the two dice into... Yeah, he's doing the two into one again. Right, three, four, five, yeah. Okay, and he's going to be down on a one dice again. Give me a skull. Okay, just a push. I think you just push him straight back here. So he was desperate to do a hack foul. Oh, he pushed me up there. Interesting. Okay, going for whatever foul he can get. No, yeah, that makes more sense, actually. Are you going to do that before you do the ball thing? Because he's used the bribe already. Maybe he's just teeing it up ready. Ball pickup is fine. He's got one more square. Goes backwards. Okay, okay. Obviously, this guy is a good relay. So maybe getting a couple of guys on him would be really handy if he's if he's going to kind of sit somewhere. Okay, no, he's going over there. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. This is nice. Excellent. There goes hack. We do need to commit a couple of guys over here, I think, to pop some guard in to let this guy hit out of this. It's not going to be great, but... Yeah, so I like that. And then we probably hit this guy... It's not really safe, whatever we do. Um, that's the downside. But we are going with the ghoul plan. 
Because obviously this is another relay, and he doesn't seem worried about the first one. Nice. Follow that. Sweet. So that worked out just how we were hoping. I don't think we really need to go further than here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can cover the entire backfield with that. Uh, maybe we do this, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is not necessarily a great situation for him. Uh, maybe we actually hit... Hmm. Okay, who's best to hit here? So, obviously knocking this guy over is great. But, yeah, I think we do that. If he wants to spend time over here surfing... Then, you know, obviously he's not dedicating time over here. Stun is really good as well, and I think that kind of kills off the surf potential. Yeah, let's see what he does here. This is this is a not great situation at the moment. He could probably free up some guys in the middle here. Like, he could do this to free up this guy. Or he could use one of these guys to free up the... Maybe he'll free up the white. He's not worried about this, which, I am i mean, I know he's blodge. But if he gets powered, he's kind of done. Okay, so he does have a golem. Probably going to bring him in over here, I imagine. Somewhere. Could bring him in here as an assist to hit that guy. Okay, no, he's just uh, going for that. Is he going to try and surf again still? I don't think a surf is on here this turn. Let's see if he pushes. Pushes him. He doesn't. I mean, a surf is technically on? Because he can use this guy to hit the centaur if this guy comes around and closes the gap, but I don't think so. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, I think we skip on that, because we're not going to see him until it's too late. If this were first half, then I think we power app at that, but he's off the field anyway. I don't think he's scoring quickly here. It's always, always against the guy without block. Okay, at least he's still on. So what's this guy doing? Where is he going? Like, he's got nothing on. I'm not saying we're going to knock him over, but we're going to be on him. How does, how does that help? Is he going for a pass down to this guy or something? If you're going for the pass, you just come round, right? The G I don't think the GFIs help you any here. If you're going to do that, just come down to here or something. But I think you want to be very careful about getting in range of the Chaos Dwarfs. He did tag the Wrestler, which is sensible. Because the Wrestler's another good tactic against him. Oh, the G... I think he's passing. I don't like that. I don't think he is passing, actually. I mean, he's only got this guy, and this guy is based by somebody. Rerolls. So we've got to reroll out of him as well. We need to make sure he can't score. That's got to be... I think that's got to be primary, which might mean that we... 
I have to blitz this guy. Because if we go for a hit here and we don't knock him over and the wolf is free, that's obviously really bad. I suppose the other thing we could do is just double base him. Yeah, actually the double base isn't too bad. Let's get these guys based up nicely. Okay. I think we have to do this. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Okay. Uh, this could help out as well. Use up all of these useless rolls. Gonna re-roll into dub skulls. Oh, we rolled a pair. Nice. Okay. Oh, no armor break. Do we pick up? I think we do. Okay, that's good. That's real good. Uh, is there any value to moving? Three, four, seven, eight. Yeah, I think there is. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, that was that was solid. I kind of don't want to go further because I don't want to get to the point where if he blitzes me, he can escape down here. It's uh, it's a bit of cat and mouse now. I mean, obviously the pickup was like a huge bonus, but even if we hadn't picked it up, there was only a one in one in nine chance that it bounces off the ghoul and goes away out of our tackle zone. So it felt like it was going to be into a fairly good position, whatever. Obviously it's a big pity that we didn't get this, because then we trapped the wolf there. But yeah, he's got to double GFI that wolf now to get into an assist position or something. Okay, it looks like he's just going to hit this. Another reason why this would have been... So, our failure to knock or push this guy might cost us here. Because he's going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not sure. Is he going to pop this guy in for the assist and then one dice with this guy or vice versa? Okay, dodging out the white. I wanted to isolate him better, but I, I, you know, like I thought about coming in here so that this guy couldn't dodge out. Maybe that would have been a good idea. Okay, that's bad. Oh, maybe he's going to just one dice it with this guy and then try the pick up. Honestly, I think he might be better off getting this guy in for the assist and two dicing it. Yeah. It means you don't really have anybody to react with, but I think it's still like the safer call. No tackle here as well, so this is pretty likely to work. Ooh. It did not. Okay, so let's think about this. Oh, uh, we should mark this up. We have a two dice here. 
Okay, that's not the best. Maybe I should have been a bit more... I wanted to free up one of these guys, because they're so much more useful. <laughs> okay, that's not great either. Uh, we could still... Oh, this guy's got guard. Yeah, he does. Oh, return of no returns. Okay, so this isn't great. We might be dodging off here. Finally got that guy. I don't see a great way to make this much better. Getting off the sideline is nice. Coming into here might be nice. I'd love to have made- I'd love to have been aggressive enough to blitz this guy and then come in here, but with stand firm, I'm not- I'm not willing to chance it. Yeah, I think that's as safe as we can get it for now. And it's not safe, obviously, but it's- it's okay. His, uh, guard guy is a little trapped up, so that means it's hard to get a guard in here to get a good hit on him. We have guards on the top. You haven't blitzed, would have- yeah, maybe I should have moved this guy in and then blitzed the bull, right? That probably would have been the way around to do it. Then we could have had him over here helping. Is he gonna blitz here? Possibly get a... Yep. Which is honestly really good, because that leaves a guard standing here. We still have a lot of our, our core of guard in the middle here, which I think is a, a really big boon for us. Like, for instance... I mean, he might move things, but we have like a two dice here right now. Which gives us another two dice. Honestly, even if we move somebody in, we probably have a two dice. So, yeah, we have things we can do. We might have to dodge off this guy. And if this guy comes in here, we definitely are looking at blitzing out. Ooh, last reroll is good. Boy, Necro are tenacious. Probably this stage, just getting this guy up is the way to go. Just so he has the potential to do something next turn. I think he's going to dodge off there. No tackle, so... Probably be alright. Honestly, over here is looking like the way to try and go. Knocking down the whites would make that a lot better, uh, better looking an option. Uh, I suppose we're not in a hurry, but, you know, we do leave ourselves more and more open.
So, uh, do we do this and then that? I think, I think so. Better. Uh, uh yeah, we'll follow. Not as good. Not as good, for sure. Let's see what happens with this ghoul, eh? That's a good pair. If we could get an armor break here, that would be a big help in my decision making. Okay, so that's a little worrying. Um, one dice because of him. Yes. Very nice. Excellent. Stay, I think. Okay. Uh, I think that's the best place to be. Oh, this is tense. I think that turn went pretty well, though. I like this little square with the golems, because it's, like, everything is a one dice. We got two guy, two of our, I mean, oh, you know, admittedly, two of our good guys, but they're holding up two of his guys that could really cause us issues. So he's going to have to throw one dice to free up the other one, right? Going after the... Centaur here. Maybe. We just gotta hope that he has, like he's got four turns with no reroll now, so we've gotta hope that one of these things that he rolls doesn't go as well as he was hoping. And, uh, like ends a turn early or something. Not this time, unfortunately. Claw on the centaur. Okay, and then the retreat. Is this guy going to retreat as well? So I think we have enough players on the left to be able to kind of move up and potentially just start to move up and cage. Uh, it does seem like we've lost a few players in general. No, we've just lost the one. Okay, it just feels that way. Oh. Got a dodge off. Yep. Gotta just tie up his players where we can. Now do we... This guy's kind of trapped, so I think we just get up with him. And we move this guy to tie up this guy. Hmm. 
then it's Blitz and Hope time. Excellent. Double excellent. He's regened a lot, but that's fine. Because this gets us into a cage for the first time. <laughs> Seemingly ever. I will take it. Yeah, that's true. We have uh, got a lot of SVP. This guy's leveled. Uh, did anybody else level? It's been so intense. Yeah, this guy's leveled. Um, this that guy really wants to level twenty-seven to. This guy was close. Yeah, there's been a lot of injuries. <laughs> Unfortunately, the team is still kicking. Regen has. This has been a good example of Regen doing doing some serious work for the team. But we've got five guys up here now, which is nice. I wonder if he'll just get this guy up and blitz in. Bit risky with the wolves, obviously, because frenzy trap, but looks like maybe what he's going for. I guess he could blitz in with this guy, actually, because this guy's also annoying. So maybe just hitting here with a two dice, one dice. Gets it. Oh no. Um, he's leveled. Doing it. I'll regret it in a minute. Okay, we do at least keep our newly leveled guy, but boy, I might regret that. The dodge away? No, you gotta stay there. I mean, I want you to dodge away, but feel it, you should stay. Okay. Yeah, I think so, but, you know, obviously we'll hate ourselves if uh, somebody else dies of importance. But, you know, you're always taking chances, right? It worked. It means we don't have to buy a completely fresh Chaos Dwarf again, so at least that guy will be getting something if he, if he lives, which in theory he should. One dice system fail? No, one dice doesn't succeed. Is he gonna- he's probably gonna follow it, I think. Okay, we're taking some, uh... Taking a bit of attrition here, which is a problem. Which means, unfortunately, we're just facing these guys again. When I'd really like to have them active. I knew that was going to be a, uh... Okay. It's alright. What we'll do... ...is, for the moment, we will just drop back. Let's play cautious. We've got a couple turns. We get another hit on the ball. Which is equally useless. 
And we'll pop him back there. We, he could still fail the dice roll, right? And then we're in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, you know, I was thinking... I was thinking I might go Mighty Blow on him, just in case he's the guy that gets Claw, because I think we don't have any other fresh guys for that. And we've got three... I think we have five guard already. So... Four... One, two, three... Four... Five. Yeah, we got five of a five of them got double, so I don't mind making him mighty blow just in case he gets claw the next time. Cause he'll be doing it faster than most of the other guys. That's kind of my thought. Cause you know, if he never rolls claw, he's just gonna get mighty blow guard anyway. It'll just be a order change. Oh, I haven't ended turn. Um yeah. Don't hold me to that, though. I might change my mind. So we've got three out right now. He's got um, some out. I can't entirely work it out. Let's just look how many he's got on the field. One, two, three, four. He's got two out. He's really starting to armor break us though. Presumably you take claw first on a double. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately it hasn't happened yet. We've not rolled a double at all. For anybody. So, otherwise we'd have it. But yeah, yeah, definitely... Definitely claw as soon as it becomes available. I mean, obviously we have to push forward this turn, whatever happens. Um, we're in an okay position to do that, apart from the center. I'd really like to have him available, but... You know, if we have to just run up with this guy by himself, fair enough. Especially if he doesn't put in a scoring threat, which I don't think he wants to because he doesn't, like, he, he needs all, all, uh, what's, what's the thing I'm thinking? All hands on deck. Oops. Okay, I'm kind of thinking coming up through here right now, but we'll see. Get some first time. It would help if he doesn't get armor broken. Nice. So yeah, I think the plan is hit this guy and then dodge off and come up to here. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot. Okay, let's see. So you're standing up. I think honestly, you're probably just standing up. Oh, big disappointment, but we can't reroll it. We need to save that. Uh, let's see... I guess we're coming in... Well, we don't need him in there, so I think we do just go here. Okay, I do like that. I hate doing these, but we kind of have to do them. Okay, that's really sweet. 
that makes it all the more difficult for him to get over there. Because we have to get out of range of these guys, which we have. So now it's really just this. And these guys, I think maybe we pop this guy over here to help out. We could put him here to help screen. But I'm kind of worried that he'll just bring somebody over and then punch through with this guy anyway. Didn't use our reroll, which is amazing. Still have a turn. Okay, we've planned it out alright. That, that turn actually went okay. I mean, it would be stunning if this guy had fallen over as well. But as it is, it's... Went really well. He's got no scoring threat, so that is also a bonus. He's got to do some wild stuff to make anything happen. Yeah, getting... So we... I think getting out of this guy's range was at actually the more important thing than getting out of these guys' range. Because this guy tagging him means we're definitely having to make another dodge. The nice thing is if this guy wants to blitz free as well, he's got two guards, so he's going to have to like put guys assisting, doing extra assists. He's still on a two dice against right now. So I have to use these guys to like assist here rather than take away assists here. So guards doing some really good work here. Okay, so what does that do? That gives him his first one, so now it's a still a two dice against. So now he needs a second assist. Okay, he's blitzing there. So maybe this guy's just going to dodge and come up. Oh, never mind. Oh, we don't have to do anything. Whew. Uh, we're not going to roll any dice. That was, uh... That was intense. It'd be interesting to see how many guys we injured. It was a lot. I think he ended with two in the box, maybe. I mean, that's partially really lucky for us injuring him and partially really lucky on the regen, right? He did love- I mean, he did get SVP on a Flesh Golem, which is always nice. And we unfortunately got it on a Hobgoblin that we don't want to get it on. So, 19 to 9. Out of those 19, we did uh, 7 injuries, 2 KOs. Only 2 stuck, so I think his regen is- I mean, look at the SVP. 13, 17, 22, oof. Yeah, regen was, regen was crazy solid. But obviously we also rolled really well on our injuries. What was the block total? 60 to 52, so pretty close. I think we had more mighty blow hits going in, so... I suppose it's not too surprising. Even so. That was, uh, that was hard work. Uh, a couple of level ups. I don't know what, I don't know what the next level is for this guy. Um. Okay, so things you could consider, I suppose. Could consider Juggernaut. Could consider Stand Firm, Mighty Blow. Um. I mean, you could even... I think you could even argue for Frenzy. Not that I think I've ever seen one. Um, tackle is probably a good call. It always feels bad getting Tackle on a team that has so much Tackle, but all of our Tacklers are not getting to people, right? Um, I don't know if there's much else. I think that's about it. Yeah, I really, I'm really thinking probably Tackle. Yeah. Yeah, guard's also good too, right? Because you can reposition him. But I wonder if for playing these teams with fast uh, ball carriers, having the tackle might be the sensible way to go. 
Plus he can hunt down skinks, he can hunt down catches and stuff. I think we're going to get tackle. Uh, who else leveled? Okay, it was our Kelstorf blocker. So yeah, I'll I'll give him that because it's not like if it was the rest if the wrestle guy got tackle, I might consider not getting it. But I think I think that's the way to go. And then can we roll the double that we've been waiting for all this time? Nope. So I am going to go mighty blow because he'll level up faster. If he doubles, he gets, uh, whatever you call it. If he doesn't, he gets guard. So, I think with as much guard as we got, I don't mind doing that. Well, I'm, I'm exhausted after that. Between the two games, the first one wasn't really exhausting because it, um, because we were out of it so fast, uh, it was, it was not exhausting that one was intense though and I don't think we need to spend our money on anything so maybe we get the upgrade on the club yeah nice alrighty I don't think I need to go make dinner so I am uh, I'm not gonna not gonna do the old uh, raid raid tonight but thanks for watching thanks for hanging out Dewey Beer and uh, Castile hope your game's going well Castile and uh, I think Mary Mary went off to play his game uh, have a good rest of your evening and I will see you guys next time uh, for I'm sure many more tense matches bye for now guys